So far we've created a nice little enclosure for our player. We've got a little pond, a little raised hill with a little ramp coming up to it, and a natural barrier to stop the player from running off into the rest of our world. But it's very green, and as much as I like green grass, I think sometimes a bit of rock wouldn't go amiss, which is where we have paint texture. If you click this, you'll get a palette down here with 16 textures in. These textures represent all the textures that can be used in this terrain type. The standard grass is around here. It can go all the way to very rocky, to lightly rocky, and everything in between. Now, when you paint textures, it will attempt a gradient between what's already there and what you're putting down. Now, if you went with a nice kind of a brown mud sort of thing, which I think makes a good path, get your receptacle size and start painting onto the terrain. You'll see the texture changes from grass to what you just selected. You can choose a lighter one and paint over what you just painted. That makes a much nicer because you wouldn't have grass on this slope, it's been used a lot from people walking up and down it, they've rubbed the grass away now, note this doesn't change the geometry of the terrain, merely the texture so painting over this grass to be a sort of a dirt, kind of a patchy sort of terrain coming down here, spreading off into the grassy bit like that now, it's a bit nicer and maybe it'll come all the way over here to our little pond and maybe we'll increase the receptacle now to paint like that there we go and maybe in the pond itself we can have a darker rock so we select that shorten our receptacle so it doesn't all spill too much and paint that rock at the bottom of the lake okay this is like a rock pool just spilling out over the sides like that. Always get your different views from your camera. Okay. And just paint that rock over like that. So that's kind of like the edge of your little rock pool. There we go. And maybe we'll have a little um, clearing here where people can set up camp. Like a harder rock next to the softer mud shale of the river shore. We'll have that there. Maybe throw a bit of variation in. Not a single click. We'll just place one layer on. Press and hold, and it will continually paint over your receptacle. So you can dapple the different textures to create a sort of a mixture. And you can use this to try and blend your textures into the surrounding textures nice and smooth okay because there's nothing that sticks out more than contrast to a player's eye so that's like an aspect of kind of rocky mossy bank of the little pond sort of thing we're going to put something there later but for now i like that going back to the ramp if we take the texture we had which was this and i'm going to have this as a kind of a dirt road leading all the way to the edge and forming a sort of another kind of area we'll put something else i don't know what i'm going to put here yet but i'm going to put something there the rest of it can be standard grass and now our last terrain painting tool is this paint grass now what this tool does even though there is quite obviously grass on the floor this will paint dynamic grass into the scene when viewed in the editor it's bright green and this can paint over everything it won't change the texture of what you're painting it on okay so we can paint it over our last riverbed over there like that it won't change the texture under it but it will render grass in the engine when you press the right mouse button down, it vanishes, but it's not gone, it comes back when you let it go. If we painted something we didn't want to paint, for example this, if you hold down the shift key and press left mouse button, it will unpaint the dynamic grass. So you can use this feature to populate your levels with very nice grass 
in the engine itself. Let's have it going right up to the edge though. And on this side as well, I think. Because I don't want grass growing on my path. The idea being the footfall of all the people has worn the grass away. As you see, if you've ever walked through um, a field on a public footpath, the grass grows to the left and the right, but it doesn't grow so much on the path itself. Um, there you go. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is um, kind of like where we want the grass to be. So, there's it so far. Now, if we just place down a place start marker on top of our hill, we can press run and see what it looks like. We press run. By clicking this, I can hear the spaceship. This is test game. You have a standard loading screen. It gives you a little overview of what commands you can use. And here is our little map. We have our race platform, a lovely little pond down there. We have our camping area. And you notice all the areas we painted in that bright green are now populated with dynamic grass. Not on our path, because we didn't want it here. But all over the landscape. Now, isn't that nice? So now, our players are in a nice, interesting terrain. We've hemmed them in with a mountain range that's impossible. We have flat spaces for building. We have a pond and a little race platform. From here, we would start populating the world with entities, such as trees, rocks, buildings, and anything we like. And we will cover that in the next video. I hope this has been informative. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. And I will do my best to address them in the next video. Thank you very much.